Meet Grace, one of Eric and Jennifer Simmons' four children. Grace is 13 and she has cerebral palsy and she was diagnosed when she was a baby. She's got a great personality, she loves to joke. She's always got a great smile for anybody. Grace's condition makes daily communication a challenge. She's cognitively at grade level, but is relatively non-communicative. And by that I mean she can take things in pretty well, but she can't communicate them back out. An enterprising group of Michigan engineering students is hoping to change that. Working in teams, these upper-level software developers are designing systems to help Grace express herself creatively, describe her emotions, and overcome the daily communication obstacles she faces. A lot of people are doing typing sort of projects, which would allow her to do things like email, or maybe even go on Facebook. And my project is focused on giving her a hobby. It's an art application. We hope that it's gonna be a way for her to express her creativity and communicate with those around her through pictures. I can't even express, you know, the, the excitement of being able to be part of this. I've been very impressed with all the students and how they've really taken to her. Dr. David Chesney's class has previously developed systems for Habitat for Humanity and people on the autism spectrum. But Grace's participation with this group enabled the students to design solutions with the unique needs of a specific individual in mind. Grace's feedback, coupled with the commitment of her parents, is integral to the design process. Without them, I don't think we'd really be able to have a clear idea of what types of conditions we'd be designing for. Her coming here really helped us design applications that could potentially really benefit children with cerebral palsy. The personal contact is, is the secret sauce. It's the magic that makes the class work. This is a senior level course. It's a four credit course. It has to give them some knowledge about the area of software engineering, but certainly Working with Grace and her family is what takes it above and beyond. There's a huge difference between content and context, right? And the content is the academic pieces and parts that I have to put together to call a four credit class at the University of Michigan. The context is what Grace brings to the class. I really think students fall in love with this, this area of study and this type of work because of the context. One thing that I can really take away from this class is the power of computer science and the potential to you know, make the world a better place through technology. It's been a really unique experience. The lower threshold of success is just that my students graduate and they think about these things as they go to work for the large companies. That always in the back of their minds, there's this little thing burning of, you know, how would somebody who's differently able have access to this thing that I'm working on? And we've achieved that. And the high threshold of success is that we actually come up with a product, some software product that Grace can use. The students originally intended to build these software applications to help Grace communicate and I think the gifts have come more greatly in the opposite direction from Grace to the students than whatever possible the students could contribute to Grace's life.